Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about this uh, Colt AR-22. Okay. Uh, now this AR has the name Colt on it. It's got all over the place. Uh, but the gun is in fact made by Umrex, uh, which is made by Walther. Uh, so basically you've got three companies involved here. Okay. Uh, so let's, let's talk about this Colt 22 and how I use it. Uh, basically, you know, when, I, when I'm doing my tactical training, what I'll typically do is any drill or exercise that I want to do, I will first go through it with this 22 rifle, uh, get good with it, get comfortable, uh, and then afterwards I'll, I'll do it with a standard AR in the 5.56 caliber, okay? Uh, and that's usually how I also train people, okay? I'll have them first go through the exercise with 22s, and then we'll go up to the larger calibers, okay? Uh, so some of the good things about this gun, uh, the first thing is its weight, okay? It has a realistic weight, uh, which is very important, you know, especially if you're moving around, coming up, you know, you want you want a realistic weight. You don't want a rifle that's too light, okay? And and that's uh, one of the issues I have found with uh, other AR 22s that I've looked at, uh, particularly the uh, uh, M and uh, Smith and Wesson um, AR 22. So it's got to have a, a realistic weight to it. Um, the other thing I really like about this gun, it's got the quad rails here, uh, which ha which allows me to basically, you know, I've, I've got my sling mounted in front and behind the receiver, you know, so I have the front sling on the, um, on the quad rail, on, on the side quad rail, and then um, back here it has a, uh, a, 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 a castle nut, so I took off the end plate and I put on a, an end plate that will accommodate a, a QD mount, okay. So, so, so that's good, um, and then it's got the uh, collapsible stock, and there's a mill spec stock. You can basically put any mill spec uh, stock on this. Okay, um, so you got your top rail, um, you know, which basically I got a light mounted over here. And then I got my red dot, and then I got my rear sight. Um, I got the three, you know, rear sight, red dot, and uh, front sight are co-witnessed. Okay, now the rear sight that this gun came with. Uh, was this big bulky rear sight uh, which didn't allow space for the red dot I took that off put this one on and you know I, you know basically you know this rifle is set up like my other ARs um, you know that shoot 556 five, okay um, so 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 that that's one of the good things about this rifle the other thing other good thing about the rifle it has a you know it has a tra charging handle that works the way one should um, and then it's got the safety lever here, and that's important because basically for most of the tactical training that we do, you know, basically, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll chamber it around, put the, flip the safety on, come up, safety off, bang, 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 safety on, into a different position, come up, safety off, bang, 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 safety back on. Uh, so we're, we're constantly manipulating that safety lever. Um, that's a, a big uh, part of tactical training that we do. Um, so basically, the, the gun is off safe only when we're actually shooting. Okay, um, so so the fact that this gun has a, a, a realistic safety lever uh, is a big plus. Um, so it's got the safety lever. It's got the it's got all the rails. It's got the collapsible stock. Uh, all good. You know, it's got and it's got a realistic weight, uh, which is a big plus. Uh, three things that I do not like about the rifle. Uh, first is the magazine, and I don't mind the fact that it's a little bit longer. Uh, you know, I, I can understand that because it's a 22, uh, it needs to be a single stack. Um, what I don't like is that uh, the material that they made this thing from, if you drop this on the ground, uh, it'll, it will easily crack. And I've done that with one of them where basically, especially if it cracks around here, around the feeding lips, uh, basically this is junk. And these are not cheap magazines. These are like $30, $35 magazines uh, that break really easy if you drop them. And, and for the way that we train... You know, we need to be able to do quick magazine changes where basically we're throwing the magazine down, taking the next one, putting it in, you know, uh, you know, and basically continuing our shooting. Um, so, the, so the fact that these magazines are both uh, not durable and expensive uh, hinders us, okay? So I don't like the magazines. Um, so I would like them to give us better magazine options than this, okay? Other thing I do not like is that the bolt catch release... Um, it does, is non-functional okay that's basically cosmetic here and and the way I work basically drop the magazine put the new one in you know hit the bolt catch release go back to shooting bang 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 okay 
Uh, so since that doesn't work, basically I'm, I'm forced to use the charging handle, okay? Um, not that big of a deal, some people use a charging handle anyway, but I like using the boat catch release. Um, but you know, so, so that, but that, that's an issue with me. You know, that's an issue that, that bothers me, it may not bother other people so much. But one of the issues that really um, will interfere with your training is that it does not have a, a, a working forward assist. Now, a lot of people will say, well, on, on their ARs, they almost never use the forward assist anyway. But here's the thing, on, with the 22s, you will use it because, um, you know, basically with the 22s, the spring that pushing, that's pushing that round forward is not as strong, okay? Um, and basically, when you fill up this magazine, right, and you've got all these rounds pushing up from the bottom, when you pull this back and it's going forward, okay, if you've got a full, a full magazine, it's working against that resistance. And if the gun is clean and all, it, it, it will it will be fine, but but usually the gun is going to be dirty. Okay, um, so what usually happens is I'll put the I'll, I'll put the um, put the mag in. I'll chamber that round. It's not going to go in right now because it's it's empty. Um, I'll put that round in. It it, it it's not going to feed all the way. It'll stop usually right there. And if you try to put your finger there, it's really not going to go forward. So what I usually have to do is I have to take out the magazine, then pinch it back and let it go, and it'll go in. And then I'll put the magazine in, and then basically I'll, I'll be able to continue shooting from that point, and I, I won't have any problems. Okay, so it's usually a problem with the first round, um, and the f the round starts feeding, but it doesn't feed all the way. Um, so so that would be a big help. Um, one of the things to understand with with 22s is that um, you know even though this this looks like an like an AR-15, in internally, okay, it's a 22, uh, and and it's built from the ground up. To be a 22, and it has to be that way, um, because basically, you know, 22s, you know, unless a gun is built from the ground up to be a, to, to to shoot 22s, it's not going to shoot them very well, okay? Uh, and, and and this gun was designed that way. It's got more in common with a Ruger 10-22 than it does with an actual AR-15, okay? Um, so so um, you know, so so that's your situation, and 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 part of, one of the issues with 22s is we tend to shoot a lot more, like with 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 regular AR-15s. Uh, we will shoot, let's say, two, three hundred rounds per session. Okay, you know, with, with, you know, if you're shooting the two, two, three, or five, five, six caliber. Okay, when we're shooting 22s, we will shoot the minimum 500 rounds. Okay, and we'll typically shoot a thousand rounds, or 1,500 rounds, or 2,000 rounds. Okay, uh, so the the gun, um, you know, does a lot more shooting. Okay, so so the gun's going to get a lot dirtier. And here's the thing, uh, with with 22 rifles, guns that are you know like this that are designed from the ground up to sh actually shoot 22s, uh, it is very hard to take them apart and clean them. Now this gun does have an upper and a lower, and, and you know it does separate into an upper and a lower. But here's the thing, the bolt does not come out of it uh, the same way it would with a standard AR-15. Uh, it's it's there's a whole process for, 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 for taking that bolt apart. That 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 basically is, you know. Basically, you gotta go, you know, look at a video, and you know, you probably spend at least an hour or two doing it. Okay, uh, so it, it does not come apart really, you know, it does not come apart really easy. It does not go back together really easy. Okay, so there's a lot of work with actually breaking the gun down, you know, taking the bolt apart and cleaning it. Uh, and for that reason, usually when I clean this gun, um, what I usually do is I'll, I'll split it into the upper and the lower, uh, and usually I'll use those sprays and, and you know, that 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 that, that have that cleaning fluid. And the brushes, and I'll try to get in there as much as I can and clean it uh, without taking the gun apart. And, and usually, you know, it, it, that's good enough. But like I said, for that reason, the gun's never going to be fully clean. Uh, and having a working forward assist would really help us a whole lot in that situation. Um, the, um, you know, the only, you know, right now this is the best option that I have come across. Uh, and again, like I said, it's it's very realistic as far as you know being able to come up. And, 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 and shoot and move the way you want to move. Um, the one of the other options that I looked at was the uh, MMP, uh, the Smith and Wesson uh, AR-22 version, and it was just a lighter gun. Um, it that gun did have a working uh, bolt catch release, from what I was told, uh, but it did not have a a working forward assist. And I don't know anything about the quality of the magazines if they're if they're durable or, and cheap. Um, so I so but the fact that it didn't have a working forward assist uh, Made me say hey, let me just hold off until something else better comes along uh, By all means if you guys have any better options that I should look at 
uh, please let me know. You can post it in the comment sections. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.